All right, y'all, so we're off Whipple Road on Walkendall Boulevard heading into Candlewood. And Candlewood is a subdivision uh, that sits right next to the Mount Pleasant tennis courts, soccer fields, and a play park. So you don't have amenities back here, but you do have the ability, as you'll see here in a second, for your boat to sit in the yard. It's not a overly hard-reaching homeowners association, so they, you know, you're able to do things back here that you probably wouldn't be able to do in other neighborhoods. 1976, I think, was the first house built back here, and then some of them were finished up in the early 2000s. Square footage range, approximately you know, 12 to probably 2200. And this is you know, about a 10 minute drive to downtown Charleston, and you're also about the same distance to the beach on Isle of Palms. You can get to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's in about 10 minutes. So this is a you know, good neighborhood to consider if you wanna be close to those things. One thing to keep in mind too about Candlewood is its proximity to 526. The overpass is right here. And you know most of these homes are not gonna be affected by that road noise because there's a little bit of a buffer between some of the houses and, and the road, but it's something you definitely wanna keep in mind uh, if you're looking in Candlewood. So at the very back of Candlewood is Trident Academy. And Trident Academy is a school that's been in Mount Pleasant for quite a while, I think since the early 1970s. And it's a school that helps kids with special needs. A lot of kids with a range of autistic issues go to school here. And it's very highly thought after. I think if you, you do some research and you have a kid that has special needs, I think Trident Academy would be a good place to consider. And again, Candlewood, which is the neighborhood that ties into this, is close to everything. And they've got a lot of recreational space back here as well.